Welcome to For the Love of Making Books. So this is episode three of the watercolour journal. Hardback book cover that we, that has been gutted, taped and this extra linen reinforcement. And last time we made the hidden spine. So it's been clipped for some time. Now, I just am going to, I've got my art glitter glue this time because I can get right in there. I'm just going to put on my glasses. And it's very quick drying. So I'm just going to give a wee bit extra to make sure everything is closed up. And it dries very quickly, so I can still these wee bottles for art glitter glue are very good, but these nozzles will get. I got a pack, I think of about twenty, so every so often I change out the nozzle, and I'll just steep that because it's very difficult to get anything thin enough down that. I'll just put the lid on that. Okay, so I'm happy that's very secure. So I'm just going to lift this out of the way and do the measuring. But just by the way, there's a cherry tree I followed, Andrea Nelson. She is on Instagram. I don't know if she's on YouTube, but she's definitely on Instagram. Probably not as good as hers. Definitely not as good as hers. But I'm probably just going to cut that there. And keep do something else. So if you wanted to follow along, you know, keep maybe trying some watercolor projects at the same time. So I'm just going to measure down about. I'm going to actually use inches this time. Three quarters of an inch. It doesn't really matter. A lot of people eyeball this. Um. You know what you can do you actually can do it um without type you know just without measuring but i just wanted to show you the method and um, some people put it closer to the top and further from the bottom but i, I don't think it really matters um so three and three quarters seven and a half divided by two Am I right in saying three and three quarters? So I'm just going to do a line across there as well. And I'm going to rub these out. It had a wee piece of paper, but it seems to have. Oh yeah. I'm back to the centimeters again. Um, so it's two and a half centimeters across here. So we need four sections. I showed you this little piece of paper here is a pretend um, spine. So if you have three signatures, you're going to have one, two, three, four spaces. Now, they don't all have to be equally spaced, but I think when we're going down to 6.25, um, millimeters were I'm just going to do two, sorry, two points at six. I'm just going to go along the six millimetre line and just move slightly to the right of it. So then I'm not going to draw the line the whole way. Sorry if my head is getting in the way. I'm just going to mark it along the lines. Okay, so there's my three. So now I'm going to go six again for the second signature. <clears throat> I just need to do a top and bottom to make sure I don't run off the straight. Okay. 
and again the same so line up the two six point six and a bit millimeters and that's that mark and that mark and that mark so there's our second signature this is when you start to panic is it going to fit in there's six it's not the end of the world it doesn't fit in you can rub it out start again so I'm just marking where it crosses those three lines for the three looks fairly good slightly wider here it seems so what I, you can do if you wanted to Sorry, I just had a sneeze there. Oh, there's my watercolour bits and pieces. What I would do is go, because it's slightly close, I mean, it's only a fraction. I'm just going to go slightly. And you could do this with the hole punch, but I am not. So you see, you mark, you mark on where it is. So I push down into my self-healing mat and then push through. So you mark them so that you can ignore them sort of thing, isn't it? But it means now that this space is more equal here. So I'm just going like a millimetre or something to the left. So remember they're just there as guides. At the end of the day you decide where you're going to put the holes. I see people using the big crocodile hole punch. But to me, as you use that journal, you're going to have movement, a lot of movement. Um, I'm not saying it doesn't work, but I'm just happy using this here. And we're going in just a little bit because of that slight imbalance because when you're down to measuring 6.25 millimeters we're talking about um, a hair's breadth so there's the hidden spine and I'm just going to take a wee bit of the artist's rubber it's not necessary really but a lot of this is hidden. So the hardest bit there is the mass. Um, if you didn't want to do the mass because you can see that it has its limitations, you basically could measure a line straight across here and straight across here and work out the middle if you work out the middle and then go either side but it's nice when the signatures hang hang straight so that's the way it's going to be placed in there so it's going to be fairly hidden from from both sides the job the hardest job i know and i've left a good inch there so i am hoping that when i attach the pages and put the glue here i have i'm telling you i've never done this before a hidden spine that is um, I'm imagining I'll be able to come in behind the pages. So the pages are going to be here. I'll come in behind when the glue is attached. and be able to. And then I'll use, I'll use my ruler to go in between the signatures and just press down on that. So the next task would be to... Um, 
attach the papers, attach the signatures, but that's for another day. Um, I'm going to, I've, I've been thinking about the papers, I'm a bit low. I've got avocado dyed papers, but I'm a bit low on the coffee dyed. Um, so I was actually thinking about what would be the best background for bright watercolours. Not that they all have to be bright. Um, and I've been thinking, you know, would it be better with uh, tea dyeing, something a little paler? Um, I'm just not sure. So we're going to leave it there for episode number three. Thank you for watching.